Hi guys, welcome to Excel and MathSci. Today we'll be looking at a system of equations where one is a linear equation and one is non-linear. So we'll be doing this via substitution method. So because we have the coefficient on the x and the y is 1, so we can re rearrange for either. So I mean we can either substitute y is equal to 4 minus x and here and get everything in terms of x or I can substitute x is equal to 4 minus y okay so you can you can substitute either it doesn't matter which way but you'll get the same answer so what we'll do we will substitute this in for y into the equation number 2 so we'll rewrite this so instead of the y squared will have 4 minus x squared so if you do 4 minus x all squared and that will equal to 4x plus 5 so we expand this bracket so I will get 16 minus 8x plus x squared which is equal to 4x plus 5 now bringing all the terms on the right hand side onto the left hand side so I'll rewrite the, this equation x squared minus 8x because it's got a minus sign in front there that'll be plus 16 so that'll be minus 4x minus 5 and that is equal to 0 so now I have x squared all by itself just collecting all the like terms so negative 8x minus 4x will give me minus 12x 16 subtract 5 will give me plus 11 and that is equal to 0 now we factorize this okay and, and do two linear expressions and that would be x minus 1 x minus 11 okay and that is equal to 0 so that would give me x is equal to 1, x is equal to 11. Now what we do, we substitute each of the values of x into our rearranged equation here to find the y. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. And when x is equal to 11, y is equal to 4 minus 11 which will equal to negative 7. So the solution to this system of equations is x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3, so these pairs go together, and x is equal to 11 y is equal to minus 7. So these are the point of intersection of this line with this function here. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.